Hello and welcome to this Themify video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fully set up the WC product filter plugin by Themify for use with the WooCommerce plugin. WC product filter helps shoppers easily find products on your WooCommerce shop. It's a free WordPress plugin that allows users to easily filter through products by price range, categories, attributes, tags, and much more. Let me show you how this works. So we have here a WooCommerce shop with a bunch of products in it. And on the right hand side, we have the WC product filter plugin. This is a product search here. As a shopper, I could come to your site and then search for only things I was interested in by using the WC product filter. So I could search for say hats um, only in a certain color and I would instantly have only the results I want. You can see how you can stack different searches. So you might have only on sale items that were shoes, for example, and you see the plugin displaying all of those for you. And it's up to shoppers to create their own searches. That's what make the plugin so powerful. You can search through categories, price, color, sizes, tags, product title, and SKUs. It's also available in a horizontal layout where users can again make their own filters by stacking these. It's just a case of going through, adding in what you want as a shopper. You can, of course, remove any of these in order to go back to the default. As well as the horizontal layout, there's a manual search as well. With this one, users can select their search items and then press apply at the end, or they'll be taken to a separate page with the search results rather than having them all on the same page as you do with the horizontal layout here. What's more, WC product filter is really easy to set up. And let me show you exactly how you do that. First thing to do is to head to themify.me slash wc dash product dash filter and then select the free download here. Save that onto your computer and now head to your WordPress dashboard. Here I've just got a standard installation of WordPress with WooCommerce and some products already added. I'm just going to go to plugins and then add new. And from there, you just need to upload plugin and then you can just drag and drop the plugin you've just downloaded. You can also choose the zip file just by pressing this button. So add the zip file, press install now. WordPress is going to upload and install the plugin and all you need to do is now activate it. Once that's done, you're gonna see plugin activated and we've now got WooCommerce and also WooCommerce product filter by Themify installed. Adding the plugin is going to add this extra menu on the left hand side, which is product filters. And here you can use the innovative drag and drop interface in order to add your own product filters. You press add new in order to add new product filters. You can give this a form title. So I'll just go for primary product filter. What we're going to do here is build a, a, a product filter similar to the homepage of the demo layout at themify.me. I'm going to set this up so you can see how this works. So you have two layout options to choose from. You've got either a horizontal or a vertical layout. Here we want this to display in the sidebar on our homepage of our shop. So we're going to go for the vertical layout here. You see then you have a number of different options for what to display. You can choose whether to um, show fields if they're empty, hide the product sorting, hide the result product count, hide pagination, display a certain number of products per page. Um, so you could have 12 say, Toggle field groups, so you can have groups of fields to be toggleable. Have the plugin scroll to results and whether to show the results on one page or show the results on different page. You can do this similar to what we saw just now in the demo where you press the submit button. So um, if we wanted to do that, we could create a separate page, say button landing page, in order to send shoppers to there. Just create a new page in order to do that. Here I'm going to show the results on the same page though. You can now add the different filters to your form. It's just a case of dragging and dropping onto the form. You'll see dragging and dropping loads up a number of options, including the field title. If you leave this blank, this is just going to display the default here. You can also choose to hide the field title. You can show product counts, show the category hierarchy, display these as links where you can select one or check boxes where you can select multiple. You can order by name, count or ID and choose either ascending or descending for those. And again, choose the horizontal or vertical layout just for this filter. And well, as if you want this to display in columns. 
as we're building one suitable for a home page, we're going to put this on the horizontal layout. You can also choose to display categories as color icons. What this will do is replace the categories you have displaying with just a colored icon. You can optionally add text as well on the right hand side here. So here we have all of my categories. This will be loaded up according to your categories. And you can now click on this color picker in order to choose these. You can choose a background color and a text color and use this color picker to add those in or just add in your custom HTML hex code. You can also optionally add on icon text here. I'm just going to remove these, um, but you can add these in if you'd like. It's a great way to make the plugin match your brand. You can also choose if you'd like to do so to hide the original categories labels. Once you're done, you can scroll back up. We can minimize this and now we can add in extra things to our form. We can choose to have a filter for whether something's in stock and again, add a title, leave as blank for the default or hide the field title. We can add price, so a filter for price and it's the same options there. Now we have multiple ones in here. You can see that you can drag and drop in order to move these around. So if we wanted to have category first, uh, in stock second, price third, we can drag and drop in order to do those. And now see, we can drag the remaining ones, including color. Let's have that at the bottom. For this one, you've got some more options. So we've got the field title again. Um, we can choose whether to display the product count and what order those are in, as well as the layout, so it's horizontal, vertical, or in columns. And again, you've got the option to display colors as color icons. We'll minimize that one as well. We've got a filter for on sale. So we could put this one perhaps next to um, the in stock, and that's just going to allow shoppers to choose in stock and also on sale. You've got a form for product title. So if users want to search for a specific titles, they can do so. We'll just add that in at the bottom there. You've got size as well. You've got again, similar options with showing the product count order layout and the color icons there and SKUs. If users want to search for specific ones, then they can do so with this one. We've also got a submit button. As we've got the result page template to show results on the same page, the submit button isn't necessary here as the results are going to display instantly. We can add this perhaps for peace of mind for users, but if you're showing results on a different page, then you are going to need a submit button that users can press once they've finished. So we'll just remove that as that's not necessary here. You'll see there's a dialog box just to confirm those. And the final thing we can add in is tags. Again, we've got options for the title, product count, display as either links or a checkbox. So I have checkboxes for this one, I think, and the order. So either name, counter ID, ascending or descending, and then the layout and color icons once more. I might want to just drag and drop in order to customize those a little bit more. And as I showed you with the submit button, you can just press this X in order to remove those. Once you're happy, then you just need to press save and the plugin is going to save that for you. You now need to add this to your site. How do you do this? Well, if you close this, you're going to see that this page is now showing your available product filters. You can add more if you'd like, but we're also going to see we've got the short code here. What this is going to do is allow us to copy and paste this in order to add this product filter to our site. Let me just show you our homepage here. If I load up my demo site, you'll see right now we have just a standard WooCommerce shop page. And we've got this empty sidebar here. Well, we can easily add the product filter just by going to appearance and then widgets and then dragging and dropping a text widget into our sidebar. So I've got the sidebar widget area here, text widget, just drag and drop and then paste in that short code that we just copied. If I save that and now if we have a look at our site again, if we just refresh this, we'll now see that we've got the shop on the left hand side, but in our sidebar, we've got those options from the WC product filter plugin. This is now going to work out the box so users can start filtering their products right away. You see, we can do all of this straight from the sidebar. You get that live preview with those instant results. You can add as many of these as you like, or of course, remove any you don't want to display. So you'll see here, we can stack multiple ones in order to get the precise results that we're after. So that's how easily you can add the WC product filter plugin to your sidebar. Let me just show you quickly then how you add the horizontal layout as well. 
You'll see right now we have just a blank page, but if we edit this, we can add a horizontal product search to your site. So we're gonna head back to the product filters menu here. And what we're gonna do here is go to edit. And then all we need to do here is just change the layout from vertical to horizontal. Save those changes. And now when we um, close this and copy this short code here, so we'll copy that and then paste it onto our site. Update the page and right away we're gonna have um, this horizontal product search added just by changing that layout option. If we view the page, then we're gonna see we've got these options available here and it's now possible for users to start sorting and get the results precisely matching what they've searched for. So that's how you add that. The manual search is similar. If we head back to the product filters, all you need to do here is add in, as I showed you earlier, just say the results on a different page, create that page, and then add in um, the submit button. So I'll add that right at the end here, just drag and drop, and then save that there. Um, if we were now to go to the manual search, and just edit this page. We can just paste in that same short code in order to get um, a page with a submit button where users can um, search without, say, the pressure of, of a live preview. If we view this, I'll just show you how quickly this can be done. So you just search for a couple of them here, um, set the price to there, press search, you're gonna be taken to a separate page with all the results that match what you've searched. So that's just very quickly showing you the different options for setting up the WC product filter. As you can see, it's a really powerful tool to help shoppers find products easier and faster. So you'll find more details at themify.me slash WC dash product dash filter. And I hope this video has been helpful. You can get your shoppers filtering products in no time. Thank you very much for watching.